Well here we are with the final clean up before it goes in for the body to be done. I'm just going to show you what parts are going to be uh, repaired. I mean everything else looks okay but as you can get down towards the sills you'll see the nasty bits that will need to be replaced. But all uh, this side on the on this side is going to have a new wing uh, mainly because of um, it being fitted badly by a well-known local dealer which I can't obviously mention as you can see the welds leave a lot to be desired but the car is ready just a quick look underneath to see uh, what's been done New shock absorbers, slave cylinder for the clutch, new rubbers all round for the engine, bay. <coughs> As you can see, most of the parts I've used have been stainless steel, replacing all of the many bits. As you can see in the box. They're all the old rusty bits. New clutch being fitted. There's the old one. This is on the driver's side. <coughs> you probably can't see this, but this is where the um, bottom half of this wing is going to be replaced, and obviously the the sill. These are the inner sills. The outer covers are perfectly all right. Uh, a new device for um, mounting the carbon canister in alloy. All tank removed so it's easy for them to uh, work on. But the body's going away <coughs> to an expert. Premier Coach works in Norwich. A quick look at the floor underneath. <coughs> Virtually untouched. All tank ready. Various pipes in the back, ready to be refitted. It's amazing the condition of it really. But it's only done 78,000 miles so I suppose it's three owners from you. And then the business end which is the back which is the engine all new tinware but I've left the engine Bertie as, as it is or would have been when it left the manufacturers so I haven't done anything what I call tarting it up the exhaust still the original one fan was a really big job to clean, especially the housing. So all the nuts and bolts have been replaced, 95% of them with stainless steel. Most of the Jubilee clips I've not put on the engine, mainly because they're not Jubilee clips that are fitted to the engine when it was new. So I've tried to keep the original ones on the hoses. So one last look, wheels are original, I 
as is the dashboard of course. So I'll leave you with a sight of the, uh, the good old Porsche dashboard with the now punked radio cassette player. I'm not changing any of that. I'll put a seat cover on in case it gets mucky. Thanks for looking at this and uh, see you in the spring when hopefully I'll be driving it.